To me, Sanju Samson will be the MVP of the IPL. He'll be player of the tournament. Why do you say that? I just think he's, he's class. He'll be batting at number three. Um, I think he's a terrific player against pace and spin. He's got tremendous skill. Um, he's been working hard. He's just starting to find his form. Um, he's very determined. Uh, and I think this is his year. I think by the end of 2019, Sanju Sampson will be playing for India in all forms of the game too. One guy who impressed, we were talking about the stars for Rajasthan Royals, uh, Sanju Sampson from oh, a wicket keeper to me. a wicket keeper. He's impressed me greatly. You know, his, his attitude, you know, he shows a lot of maturity for his age and that's what I like. I think he's, oh, is he, is it the new MS Dhoni or what? Is he the, uh, if we had, <laughs> if we had the Farouk engineer, the young player award, I've already known they, they, the used call, <laughs> they used to call Dhoni that. You know? <laughs> the Farouk engineer award. Would he be your best young player award up to now in the, in the competition? If you'd ask me, I think he's been the fine, I would. fine for Indian cricket at least. Yeah, he would have my vote, that, that, that's for sure. Okay. I'm not biased as a Well, you keeper. are unbelievably biased. <laughs> I've seen him as a 13-year-old playing with adults in Kerala. There's this coach we had called Biju George who said, you've got to watch this guy. Yeah. His father was a policeman and from then onwards, he's been just climbing. The, interestingly, what happened was he reached there in India and then somehow that career went into a bit of a tailspin that always happens. But how beautiful he batted today. He was just amazing. His, you, say, you say his father's a policeman. Today, he got Rajasthan out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, certainly did. Well, you know, it was just unbelievable. I mean, there was no power hitting. It was just timing, sheer, you know, just placing the ball. Artistry. Artistry. Normally, when you see 55 ball, 100, you think, you know, somebody was a bludgeoned his way to that yeah. 100, <clears throat> smashed bowlers around. But yeah, there was no smashing. Yeah. There's, he's hit a couple of sixes, but they're all over covers. Just pure timing. Yeah. And he was placing them depending on what the field was kept. And he had all the answers today, whether it was spin bowled at him, including Rashid Khan. He found a new way to figure him out, except for that first ball when he tried to, you know, defend, went for four. But, you know, little, little delicate shots. So, I mean, he's just shown us another way. We were talking about who? Kane Williamson. Yes. Why is he successful? Or, you know, he can also be a T20 player. Yeah. So, there is another way of playing T20 at the same strike rate. Just unbelievable. I'm so glad to see him score these runs. Yeah. The craziest thing is, who are you hitting? This is the best bowling attack. The guy who got smashed most, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, 55 in his four overs, okay, went for 10 in his first result, 45 in the last two. The last person who got smashed for 45 in his last two overs was a certain Vakar Yunus by a certain Ajay Jadeja in 1996. Nicely done. Close up, cut to close up, 40, cut to Ajay close 45, up. 45. Quickly, quickly, quickly. The same. Oh. Last person who got smashed like that. But no, I have one more point to say. I mean, you have a situation where this guy, uh, what happens to him? This is the this he guy is, is the purple the cap for the uh, for last two years. Yeah. So Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, you're not hitting any bowler. You're hitting the best bowler in the IPL by reputation and record over the last two years. Yeah, and he really That's did hit him that over. That was bold. Uh, I think uh, Bhuvi's third over. What was it? A six. Four fours and a two, yeah. right? That's what he did to him. And I think he found a new way of hitting Bhuvneshwar Kumar. So this is this is another thing people should look at and learn that each bowler cannot be hit the same way as the other guy can be hit. What did he do to Bhuvneshwar Kumar? First ball of that 22 run over went over covers nicely timed, and then he was all past the point because they, when they keep point and third man up and a cover and short fine like what what does the bowler want you to do hit you down the ground and he's got four fielders there yeah but all he did was you know not use the distance of power he used your pace and you know just glided you through you know point a couple of yorkers played brilliantly so he, i think he brought a new uh, way of playing that slog overs or the last few overs and that is why bhuvneshwar kumar got surprised what are the chances of sanju samson re-entering the indian team well, I think it's all up to him. You know, the more you perform, the better you perform. Then you put your hand up. You know, that's the thing. I think it's not. There's no questioning his talent and his ability. Um, now it's really down to him to produce the performances because when you come up to a certain level, you know, your good and bad performances are noticed. You know, so he's at an age and a stage in his life where everything is being noticed about uh, Sanju. Not only Sanju. I don't mean only Sanju. I mean, you know, a lot of other boys. And he's a very good player, but you know, he, he he's going to have to. Keep performing so that people notice him. What makes him very special is he's fearless and uh, he's an amazing timer of the ball and also he's able to read situations pretty well and adjust his game according to any situation. That's what makes him special.
डाइव के साथ हवा में रहते ही ऐसा लगा कि बहुत समय था उनके पास और ऐसा लगा एक समय पे हवा में रुके और ब्लैक फ्लिप करके रन बचा अपनी टीम के लिए काबिल तारीफ एक बार नहीं बार बार देखिए और बिग स्क्रीन पे इस समय सभी दर्शकों ने देखा और शोर सुना हमने